What's up guys, this is Mike Loris, and I am finally back casting a real game. It's been way too long. Uh, I want to let you guys know what was going on. Uh, this is going to be Absolute Legends vs. Team Empire from the Premier League Season 4. If you want to go check out these games, then... Uh, I don't. I actually looked in the Steam Market, the uh, the Dota store, and I couldn't find it, so I bought it on the Steam Market for like three bucks or something like that. And uh, it doesn't come with the courier, but that's okay. I already have my kick-ass courier. Absolute Legends vs. Team Empire. Let's go over these two teams, then we'll go over uh, a little bit of what's going on with the channel and everything like that. Absolute Legends. This isn't the Absolute Legends of uh, of before. It's a relatively new team. This game was actually just played yesterday, February 10th, and uh, since then AL has reformatted, and this is their new team. If you look at it, uh, well, I'm personally very, very happy with it, because if you, uh, the people that are on this team, Mania, Miggle, Miracle, Rise, and then uh, Unicorn, I don't know so much about Unicorn, but uh, those are, I'm pretty sure, all heroes of the old, I want to say, SK, and then we're Quantic for a little bit, and those, these guys, at that time, were my favorite team. I love watching these guys, so I'm going to be pulling for Absolute Legends. Absolute Legends has had kind of a cursed history. With uh, N9, they did decently well, but then they fell off really quickly. And then with their, uh, you know, their previous lineup, that also didn't work out very well at all. But hopefully, hopefully AL could find some success with this one. And Team Empire, they're going to be on the dire. What, what can I possibly say about Team Empire? They are absolute juggernauts right now. Uh, debatably, the best team in the world. Uh, capable of taking sets from anyone very easily. To have so many high-skilled players, and it's a relatively new team as well. Uh, formed a little bit after TI2. It's of course you know that's the post TI2 team shuffle, so that's not really saying all that much. However, Team Empire still a very very huge team, and we're gonna see if these new guys, Absolute Legends, could actually take them down. Now keep in mind, Absolute Legends. These people have played together before, so even though they are technically a new team, it doesn't mean that they're going to, you know, have poor synergy or something like that. Because they practiced before, they have played and competed before, and they have done quite well. And meanwhile, while I'm blabbering on about that, we already have all the picks from the first round, as well as a good deal of bans. Absolute Legend's going to first pick Magnus, with Shadow Demon as well as the Gyrocopter being the second and third pick. Empire going for the Darkshire Undying, as well as Bane. Absolute Legends pick of the Magnus is a little bit interesting. Magnus, of course, is a very, very good hero, although uh, you don't really see him prioritized all that much. And uh, kind of the same thing with Undying. However, uh, Darkseer, Shadow Demon, both of those picks are extraordinarily powerful, especially considering the uh, initial bands of Batrider, Nyx Assassin, Wisp, as well as the Keeper. Uh, Bane Elemental, as well as the... Uh, well, mostly Bane Elemental. A support hero that's not seen all too often, but uh, they did pick that up because who else are you going to get if uh, the Wisp, as well as the Keeper, who are two of the most popular supports, are currently out, and Bane Elemental is a very, very fantastic counter if AL would have decided to pick up the uh, the Lifestealer, the Naix then you could just fiend script. One of the best tools against that hero. Uh, some more bans going to be targeted mostly towards the carries. AL going to ban out the Luna Clinks, so that's going to eliminate uh, potential solo lane carries, and then tr uh, you know, try to get Team Empire's aggressive tri-lane, where it looks like it's going to be an aggressive tri-lane, to not exactly shape up the way they want it to. Puck as well. Denying the mid lane, whereas Team Empire going to ban out some hard lane heroes from Absolute Legends. Now, AL, they do have the Gyrocopter as well as the Shadow Demon, and those two heroes typically do go together. Shadow Demon uh, just playing the support role, whereas where Gyrocopter just getting farm, all stuff like that. And Magnus probably going to head towards that mid lane, which is why we see Team Empire banning out the likes of Lone Druid, Broodmother, as well as the Nature's Prophet, trying to get rid of the long lane heroes for Absolute Legends. Gyrocopter, not exactly the best aggressive tri lane hero, so he's probably going to get protected farm, which is why AL going to pick up that clockwork. We're most likely going to see that clockwork head towards that top lane. And now we're going to see who he wants to actually play against. Clinks was one of, uh, is one of Empire's signature heroes. Funnick plays a very mean Clinks goes on the safe lane while his team aggressive try lands. And Clockwork in that case would have had a poor time, but uh, in this situation, Team Empire, they have yet to pick up a hardcore carry hero. And uh, the real question is, who's it going to be? Lifestealer, still in the pool, as well as someone like the Faceless Void, and uh, spinning out the picks a little bit quick, guys, aren't you? Uh, Absolute Legend's going to pick up the Lina to line up their, to uh, finish, finish off their support lineup. 
course, a very solid combo. Lina plus Shadow Demon. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of power right there. Disruption to Soul Catcher, LSA Dragon Slave, and then Garocopter with his ridiculous damage from the level one barrage to clean everything up. That is going to be very hard to withstand against if you're Team Empire. And they need someone to cap off the uh, hard lane right now because what it looks like Team Empire is going to do is ooh interesting. Okay. Uh, what it looks like Team Empire is going to do is lane an aggressive tri-lane and have Darkseer and Queen of Pain solo a couple of lanes. And uh, either of those lanes will go very well for them, actually. Because, you know, Queen of Pain versus Magnus or Clockwork, both of them should go in Queen of Pain's favor. And kind of the same thing for Darkseer. Having Clockwork and Magnus being the two solo heroes for Absolute Legends, well, they're both melee. And Darkseer, as we all know, kind of uh, makes mincemeat out of melee heroes. Those Ion Shells hurt. So Team Empire, they're going to have some solid solo lanes, but uh, their tri-lane, I'm not too sure about it. Undying is, of course, one of the best tri-lane, anti-tri-lane heroes. Is there anything good? No. Because of that decay, he gets so much strength and so, uh, takes away so much as well. Uh, strength meaning both the literal attribute strength as well as power strength. But uh, the Weaver... Aside from being very, very slippery, doesn't offer all that much. If we look at the other end, Garocopter, he could do a ton of damage. Now, usually with Trilane, you see someone like you see someone like the CK, or well, the CK is really the the best example where uh, the where the CK offers a whole lot of damage as well as a lot of utility. Get the Reality Rift, pull them back as well as that stun. Weaver doesn't offer that much damage. He's mostly a survivable hero. We might see... No, he's actually going to go down toward this bot lane. So I do have to favor AL's uh, tri-lane in this situation. The Gyrocopter should have a lot more room than the Weaver. That is, if the supports play their roles correctly. While we're on this, the topic of supports, let's go over who's playing what. We are going to see Ryze playing the Shadow Demon Mania. It's going to be with him supporting as the Lena Unicorn is on the Gyrocopter mid lane. It looks like it's going to be Miracle on the Magnus and heading towards top is going to be Miggle. On the bottom lane, it's the Empire Aggressive Tri-Lane, Blow Your Brain, farming on that Weaver. SS Silent is going to be playing the Bane Elemental. Go Black is playing the Undying. Mid lane is going to be the Queen of Pain. It's Scandal. And Funnick is going to be soloing the top lane as a Darkseer. Ooh, best of luck, Clockwork. You're going to be needing to use the Rocket Flare to last hit. If you want to get gold, that is. Ooh, we might see a level 1 engagement, actually. Go Black as well as Rise spot each other out. They're DK onto all three. Go Black's a huge tank right now. There's a disruption to an open up in Unicorn with the Rocket Barrage doing some pretty heavy damage, but it's spread out amongst everyone. Mania is sleeping, so he cannot get that LSA off. There's the LSA onto three, but he's nightmared once again. I don't know how the hell that happened. Someone must have pulled that off. Mania's taking an awful lot of damage, and Empire does draw first blood. Silent with the right clicks. Picking off Mania before the creeps even clash. You see this damage coming out from the Undying. Two de two decays hitting, what was it, three heroes and then two heroes? That is a lot of damage, even though it's a, only a level one skill. And Gyrocopter's Rocket Barrage does do a lot of damage, but typically only if you could focus that onto one hero. When you focus it on two heroes or three heroes like we just saw, it's not as impressive. Yes, it still does a lot of damage for a level one skill, an impressive amount of damage. Uh, but it's not as amazing. And I don't know exactly what happened with that Nightmare. The Nightmare cooldown definitely isn't that low, and he only casted it once. That's what the mana says. So it must have been someone taking the, the Nightmare off, and then Lena got it back on herself somehow. Uh, my apologies for missing that, but once again, haven't casted a game in a very long time. So Empire drawing first blood onto this bot lane. Uh, <laughs> right after I got finished saying that uh, the AL... Tri-Lane is a little bit better, but AL, they were, their supports are busy now, de-warding. The pull camp did get blocked for the first spawn, but uh, they made short work of that ward. We're going to see if AL could recover from this initial setback. Having Silence pick up the early first blood meant the courier could get some wings, and that also gives a lot of experience towards the uh, Empire lanes, lay on the bottom. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on this bottom lane. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Scandal playing very aggressively as per usual. Magnus already burned through all of his mana, already has his bottle. Scandal should have his bottle relatively shortly as well. You can see the 7 denies versus the 0 denies. Scandal's really controlling this lane, as I said before. Queen of Pain, it's very hard to lane up against her. And uh, if you do, you're most likely not going to win. At best, you're going to break even. Top lane, Miggle is struggling quite a bit. Funic Taking a couple of the tower shots, but Miggle is forced to use that Rocket Flare to last hit, because if he wants to get close, he's going to get poked pretty hard by those Ion Shells. 
And Funix should have a firm grasp of this lane on the top. He does have 700 gold already, so he's going to be working towards his soul ring as soon as possible. Once the quarry, of course, stops delivering the bottle to and from the mid lane where Scandal well, has, actually hasn't picked up the bottle quite yet. Empire doing a little bit of Warcraft 3 creep jacking. She's going to mess with the experience income of Absolute Legends, and Blair Brain is getting all those last clicks, last clicks as well. Silent is going to get disrupted, and here's the Rock Frost from Unicorn doing so much damage to Silent. The missile hit as well, but the Brain Sack keeping him alive. Meanwhile, Blair Brain is working on Rise, but the three creeps here is doing a lot of damage to Blow Your Brain as well, and it looks like everyone is forced to fall back with no real cost. A little bit of mana is burned, a couple of restoratives gone. But that was a very good potential setup for AL that they let slip through. Because once again, the Go Black as well as Bane Elemental can get a lot of health back through their skills. You can see already two points onto the Soul Rip from Undying, just upping that uh, amount of, the amount of uh, units that could take their health from. Increasing the heal. Go Black is just increasing the heal, and Silent with that Brain Zap, only level 1, was more than enough to keep him alive. So Empire doing very well on this bot lane. Unicorn is 7 for 5 versus Blow Your Brains, 13 for 2. So even though AL's uh, burst damage and setup, I feel, is a lot stronger, Empire, they're making this lane work just because of the amount of sustainability they have in this lane. And with the Ring of Basilius now, they should have even more of that sustainability. Armor is going to do wonders against these heroes because their levels are not exactly coming up. Level 2 on the Lina, as well as the Shadow Demon, whereas level 3 is up on all of the Empire heroes. So their skills are going to start getting a little bit more dangerous. In the meantime, we see Scandal. He's going to find himself a double damage rune. Is he possibly going to go towards Miracle or head towards the top lane? We're going to keep our eye on this Queen of Pain because it looks like she wants a little bit of blood. Nagel is level 5, so even though he's not getting as much farm as Funic, he is still getting those levels, which is very important for the clockwork. Once you get that level 6, you could kind of leave the lane and, you know, go around ganking Scandal, pressuring back Miracle an awful lot. He's going to even dodge a shockwave, he's going to chug a b bottle charger too, and he wants to go in for this. Scandal's looking for the kill, he is going to blink out. He is not willing to tank that many tower shots. Creep support is way too far away, and he has no idea when the teleportation from AL is going to come, if at all. He's going to play it safe. Just rough Miracle up a little bit. He still does have a bottle charge, so he should be fine to stick into this lane for just a little longer. And he's even getting a couple pulls. Scandal blinking forward very aggressively, and we do see a pause. So, state of the game so far. Empire doing very, very well on this bot lane. Considering the uh, lack of real power the, the Weaver brings to the tri lane, they're making it work. Gyrocopter is unfortunately not getting the farm that he needs, and AL is going to struggle. It seems like all of AL's lanes actually are struggling. If we take a look at the gold per minute, we can see something similar. Funic is sitting at the top, Queen of Pain and, well, Weaver not too far behind, whereas the primary farmers from AL, Gyrocopter, this is not where you want to be if you are playing the one role on the Absolute Legends squad. So AL is kind of hurting for gold, and I'm sure if we look at the experience, it's going to show something relatively similar. Funic actually has less experience than the Clockwork. That's interesting. Uh, probably because of the aggressive pushing and uh, creeps getting denied to the tower. So Funic is you know, falling behind as far as the levels go, but it's barely anything worth noting. He's going to get that back, and then some very, very quickly, considering how much experience the Darks here could get. So anyway, while we're waiting for this pause, I guess I should just go over the status of the channel. So I was, so I'm, you know, I'm still playing games. You just saw a couple minutes ago that my friend wanted to play a couple, but uh, I am clearly doing something else. So I am playing a little bit Left 4 Dead with my friends, mostly just casual stuff, uh, you know, uploading it for shits and giggles. And I am, um, I'm always looking for games to record and upload. I'm recording a whole lot, but unfortunately the games aren't that quality. The quality is pretty bad. Just the um, the play style, not the video or audio or anything like that. So those unfortunately don't go up, and when you actually have to talk for the entire game and then realize that you cannot actually upload that without looking like an incredible fool, it's kind of demoralizing, which means that I'm not playing as much like in per sitting. So it's usually like, you know, one, two games just because they're so bad and I'm burning my voice on something that isn't going to see the light of day. It's like, why am I even bothering? So, um, I also mentioned in one of my previous videos, I believe one that went up, probably the Visage, Visage, Visage game, that I wasn't going to be casting this tournament because I talked to someone and they said that uh, they didn't want to have restreams. 
reconfirmed with them and they said as long as it's not live it's fine and you know what this is definitely not live because this game was played yesterday so I'm just gonna go ahead and cast all these games this game this tournament started just yesterday I believe so it's a uh, you know pretty good situation to jump in there are only a couple of games and from what it looks like they're only playing one set a day so this is the AL vs Empire set and today the day of my recording this uh, there is also a what was it liquid as well as dignitas liquid vs dignitas game so it doesn't seem like a whole bunch of uh, content is being uploaded in huge chunks like some of the other some of the other tournaments like star series or <laughs> some of those uh, but that that is actually good because that means I could try to get a nice clean 100% run, keep up with the tournament, and try to keep my casting skills sharp. Try to get a little more practice because I haven't cast anything since well, what was it? Absolute Arena. That was a very long time ago. And how long is this friggin' pause? Jeez, I thought I wouldn't even have time to go over like what I've been doing and what the channel's been doing. Uh, but I believe that's it. So still looking for games. Uh, as usual, Thursday night stream, 7 o'clock on the Eastern Standard Time. If you guys want to play... Oh, that's another thing. If you are adding me on Steam and you're not letting me know who you are, like if you're a subscriber or a viewer or anything, if you're just adding me on Steam, then I am not going to accept. I don't really accept friend requests if I don't know who you are. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just saying that because actually I, I could pull it up. Can I pull it up? Can I pull it up? Yeah, like, I don't know, if you're one of these guys, I don't know who you are, sorry, so I'm not going to accept that, unless you let me know who you are, and then I will be glad to play with you and record and all that stuff. Is this 1x speed? I do believe it is, so we are back into this game. That pause was so freaking long, oh my god. Here we go, another engagement, disruption, as well as Soul Catcher, the missiles, as well as the LSA, Dragon Slave, and Silent. Not even enough time to get his brain sap off. That is the power of Rocket Barrage right there. Combined with only one point of Soul Catcher to boot, once that Soul Catcher gets to level 4, oh man, that Rocket Barrage is going to sting. Garrocopter picking up two points in Rocket Barrage, kind of an uncharacteristic build. Typically, uh, you do see gar uh, Garrocopters when played as the hard carry role. Pick up one point of the missile, one point of the Rocket Barrage, one point of the Flat Cannon, and then uh, go for a little bit of stats. You could mix it up with a little bit more Flat Cannon, but more points in Rocket Barrage signifies that he is going to take a little bit more of a farm independent role. Of course, that doesn't, uh, he's going to try to get as much farm as he can, but he wants to get that power just from simply being in the fight. And the Rocket Barrage, the damage does go up pretty, pretty substantially as you level that up. However, it is usually the case that fl uh, Flat Cannon, as well as overall survivability, is a little bit more valuable. Sentry Ward going down and the missile is going as well. It's going to miss the Weaver. No, it's just barely going to hit, but the Tombstone gets dropped down, busting down all the trees. Rise is sleeping right in front of the tower, gets woken up, and there's the double LSA. Lawyer Brain taking an awful lot of damage from the tower. He cannot go Shikuchi just yet. He's going to drop to the Gyrocopter, but here comes Scandal, moved in from the mid lane. Here's the Sonic Wave, as well as Screen Plane blinking in. Scandal gets a double kill, and now Rise is stuck in the jungle. Go Black's taking an awful lot of fire. He's going to heal himself with the two points of his W and but here comes Miracle with the skewer as well as reverse polarity only hitting Scandal. Scandal does not have any mana so he cannot blink out. The bottle charge are, the bottle charges are getting cancelled. He now does have mana. Mania is going to get nightmare so he cannot even cast any spells. Scandal is going to get away. Three for four is the engagement there. Might not be done yet. Blurry Brain is coming right back in. Silent is gonna fight with Miracle perhaps Blurry Brain throws out the swarm Miracle and Mania gotta fall back. They're both dropping very low on HP. Blurry Brain is going to Shikuchi right in. Is he going to continue diving? No, he is not. And that looks like it's going to be a no, it's not going to be a funnick. He's going to take a rocket on the top lane. Unicorn is going to unleash that rocket rush. So much damage. He should be able to take up this kill. Just needs two more hits. No, funnick with the surge is so darn quick, and Unicorn doesn't have the damage necessary. Darkseer is going to survive just barely by the skin of his teeth. And AL, they pick up a couple kills, but Empire pick up a couple more. Let's take a look at who actually died there. Queen of Pain did pick up a double kill on that, so Scandal's going to be very, very happy about that. Picking up a Null Talisman. Please be Dagon. Uh, he doesn't exactly need to go for Dagon since this late game is invested heavily into the Weaver, who's doing pretty decently, but I just like to see Dagon. And, uh, well, two of the kills did go to the Shadow Demon. Not exactly the best situation. Now Rise, even taking a little bit of damage. Is the Sonic Wave up for Queen of Pain? No, my god, Queen of Pain, your hair, where is it gone? 
but she is going to uh, just harass back that Shadow Demon, who, even though he did get a couple of kills, is still not exactly in the best shape. Magnus is going to find himself a haste and going to find Goldblack D-Ward and going to push him back right into the tower. There's the battery assault as well as the pod. Goldblack is trapped and he's going to get killed right now. But he's actually, no, surviving just a little bit more. He's going to force Miracle out of there, but the haste room should be fine. Scandal going to blink in for one more Sonic Wave. He gets a double kill on the Rise as well. Rise did not expect that to happen. Surprise. <laughs> Queen of Pain is going to blink in. Mania is going to fight Silent 1 vs 1, but Scandal is not done yet. He still has that Bottle Charge as well as Atreus Brain Sap is going to kill the last of Lena's HP. Bane picks up yet another kill. 2-1-2 on the support band mental and Scandal being so active. It looked like he was retreating from that fight, but no, he was just going to another fight. Miggle on the top lane is going to find Funic, who already used the Surge. No, he did not use the Surge. Going to vacuum Miggle as well as Unicorn out of the cogs, but it looks like it's all going to be in vain. He's going to run back into the trees, but I don't think he has much of a shot here because one tower shot will bring him down. And the Ion Shell for some reason, but Unicorn is going to dip right in. One more right click is going to finally kill off this Darkster on the top lane. But Empire is still pulling ahead slowly but surely. This Queen of Pain is going to get more and more scary. She is u using her mobility from the blink to the fullest. Bouncing around from the mid lane into the bot lane, into the bot lane jungle. And now Mania might be in a little bit little bit of trouble. The Swarm has spotted him out. The LSA is going to land on Blow Your Brain and a Dragon Slave as well, but Scandal coming in annihilating that Lina. Blair Brain still trapped with it from behind that tower. Gyrocopter is coming in, but Gyrocopter cannot kill this Weaver without some support, especially since Scandal going to blink straight in. Silence is here as well. Brain Sap onto Unicorn. The missile is going to fly as well as the call down, but S Scandal with the Sonic Wave denies him any further right click damage. Silence is going to eat up those call down charges, but Gyrocopter is already very, very dead. And Queen of Pain is going to make out there like a bandit. It. Jumped in, got a couple kills. Just gonna go back to the mid lane and continue farming with another thousand gold in her pocket because why not? I'm Queen of Pain, I'm Scandal, one of the best mid lanes in the entire world. And I will, uh, there's nothing you can do about it to stop me. Gonna find myself in Illusion Rune and possibly dip back down to this bot lane where Rise might be a little bit overconfident. Blow your brain, dove. Lina without a second thought. He could do the exact same thing to the Shadow Demon. The disruption will save the Shadow Demon for a little bit, but against three Queens of Pain. I don't exactly like your chances. Silent doesn't exactly have as much health as before, but he does have that Fiend's Grip, and the Fiend's Grip means that he could annihilate anyone on AL uh, if he gets it off in time, of course. So they could dive this Shadow Demon. Of co oh, looks like they're just going to go straight in. Teleportation coming in. It is going to be the Magnus as well as the Clockwork. Silent taking an awful lot of damage. Brain Sap to open up. There's the Disruption, and Miracle is going to reverse polarity. Completely whiff. Scandal is going to jump right back in. He's going to get hit by the missile, and he's going to drop to the call down. Boom, there he goes. But Bane, as well as the Queen of Pain, possibly getting a little bit too aggressive. Blow your brain as well. He's going to pick up the Shadow Demon, and then time lapse on out of there. Needs another Sakuchi. He's going to get it as well. So that stun was nowhere near anything. They go looking for cogs. I think they didn't realize that Weaver was holding on to his Shikuchi. They thought he already used it, but it, in fact, was still available to him. So he's just going to get out of there without a single scratch. Except for a couple of missiles. A lot of missiles, actually. Different kinds of missiles as well, heading towards him. Scandal finally does die, and that gave a lot of gold to the Gyrocopter. Perfect situation for AL there. They need this Gyrocopter to, to recover from the kind of lackluster early game that he has had. And that kill is definitely going to help, but still, uh, two kills really slowing him down. Power Treads is all he has compared to the Weaver, who has Tranquil, as well as the Ring of Aquila. So we're going to see what he wants to go for. 1,500 gold on him. He could be going for a very quick re uh, relic. Scandal with the Surge is going to find Unicorn. And Unicorn, I do not like your chances, man. There's, just, there's uh, Sonic. There's the call down onto Scandal as well. But it looks like it's not going to be doing enough. Blow Your Brain has dropped. Scandal actually blinked backwards. That's why I missed that. I'm like, where did she go? Miggle is going to drop again to Scandal, though. And the, the, the Gruna Blade. Finishing off silence in exchange, Scandal is going to throw out the Sonic Wave. Once again, it's been a long time since I've casted anything, so apologies for the rough casting, but there will be many games for me to recover. But still, AL taking a, a subpar fight. They did pick off the Weaver. Did Weaver actually get any items before? Ah, yes, got a point of Vit Booster. Very interesting. Now, Weaver could go for a raw Vit Booster and then possibly head towards a heart. Wouldn't be unheard of. But with Aquila, Bit Booster, as well as Tranquil Boost, it's a very defensive Weaver build so far. And he has already died twice. So we're going to see what Blow Your Brain actually wants to do with this. I guess he has enough faith in Queen of Pain to deliver the damage that he doesn't exactly have to go for. Funnick, as well as Goblack. He got to get out of there, man. Tower is going to survive at 80 HP, but looks like Unicorn is going to deny that. Blow Your Brain going to spot out the missile. 
that is heading towards Funic. Lots of people on this Empire bot lane. All five, in fact, coming down, but AL's Miracle is going to charge right in, gets a reverse polarity onto all four. Call down as well, annihilating Empire. There they all go. Scandal. A little bit late to the party, but that is going to save his life. Beautiful reverse polarity from the Magnus and the call down from Unicorn. Gyrocopter is kind of a Luna esque hero. Doesn't matter if he gets uh, a little bit denied in the early game because call down does a ton of damage. And a beautiful reverse polarity from Miracle. Empire clumping up just a little bit too much. And, well, AL, they are, you know, technically a little bit behind, I believe. Yes, they are in both experience and gold. But all of that doesn't matter for anything if you cannot, if you can't move. Reverse polarity was absolutely spot on. Plus, with that call down, that was an absolutely devastating combo. You bet that Empire isn't going to fall for that again. Not exactly a team fight. That was just you know, a team massacre. Blair Brain is going to dive straight in for Rise as well as Mania. There's a Soul Catcher. Bug's going to fly out onto Rise as well as Mania. Or is he going to keep going in on this? Blair Brain is kind of tempting them to go onto him. But it could be a mistake. He's even dipping into the Tier 2 tower a little bit. Mania and Rise not interested in any of that. Instead, they're going to fall back. And Empire, they're going to be okay with that. They know that those two support heroes are falling back. They're going to go straight for the tier 1 tower in the mid lane. With Go Black sitting on the sidelines. Two points in that tombstone only. That should be enough should a team fight erupt. And Reverse Polarity is down, as well as Call Down. Call Down's up, actually. Scandal does have a level 2 Sonic Wave, however, that is a ton of burst damage. It's going to fly through. Look at that damage 475. That is absolutely vicious. So Empire take the tier 1 tower without any resistance from AL. What, right now, what AL needs to do is either get the Gyrocopter to be very, very big, but you know, Gyrocopter went for a jump of endurance, so he's going for a more utility-based Gyrocopter build. It's not exactly a bad thing, I just... Where did... Oh, Miracle almost died. Oh, looks like I might catch this one. Unicorn taking a Swarm Bug, and he's going to get vacuum back as well. Call Down is going to be his last ditch effort. He's actually going to survive the disruption. Laguna Blade as well on Tephonic. He's going to take a ton of damage, but it doesn't matter. Unicorn is already dead. Shadow Demon up the darks here in exchange of the uh, Fiend's Grip onto Miggle. Not lasting long enough. This decay is not going to be enough, but Weaver going to shoot you right in. Rise is going to try to teleport out, but Blow Your Brain with the Shikuchi damage is going to find himself a triple kill in this team fight. Mania now on the run. Don't really like your chances. Scandal going to blink in for one more scream. And that's going to be four down from the AL side. Reverse Polarity was used for Miracle to clean up Silence in the meantime. Using that Reverse Polarity just on one, is it worth it? Well, he's going to get out clean, but uh, I still that is definitely not a worthy trade. Two for four. I would not take that at all. AL getting caught a little bit out of position. Good support play from the Shadow Demon as well as Lina giving uh, giving the Gyrocopter a couple more seconds from the disruption as well as you know a lot of nuking support. So bringing in the heavy artillery. But unfortunately, it simply was not enough. That Weaver did a ton of damage with that Shikuchi, and hey, he went. He's going straight for survivability. Not rushing a Relic or a Lincoln Sphere or anything. He's just going to go raw health. And now he's sitting at 2,000 gold. He could still go for a fast Relic. Although, Vit Booster? I don't know. I think it's probably going to be a raw Vit Booster until he makes up his mind. Uh, Lincoln Sphere won't be the absolute best. It'll be, it'll be decent, actually, for this game. But we'll still see if he wants to go for more damage. But it looks like right now what Empire want to go for is Roshan. If everyone heading down towards their mech is up on this Darks here and... I don't think AL could actually contest this because they burned the reverse polarity. If Magnus held onto it, he probably wouldn't have gotten the kill before, which uh, mean that which would have meant that his blink dagger would be slightly delayed. But they would have had the capability to actually fight Empire right now. Instead, they're going to have to be they're going to be forced to give up this Roshan. They're going to smoke and move in, but without that reverse polarity, I. I'm not really sure if they could do this. Tombstone has level 4, although Undying is taking an awful lot of damage. Funic as well. They might come in at a perfect timing right now. Miracle is going to get his smoke revealed, and there's the blink in from Miracle. No reverse polarity, just forcing them to scatter. Miracle is going to skewer Scandal back all the way back up to the high ground. Tombstone has been dropped. Miggle has a lot of zombies on his ass, but it looks like the line has been drawn. Empire wants to keep fighting, but the Tombstone is way out of range. Rise is going to get Fiend's Grip as well as a vacuum back onto 3. Funic is going to dive right into the front lines. He's going to drop, however, reverse polarity is up finally for Brain, but it doesn't matter because Scandal is here to clean up Mania. Not sure where you're going. He's going to try to uh, teleport out of here, but it's not going to happen. Once again, a 2 for 4 engagement, and Unicorn, the only one to make it out there. He's going to teleport out just fine, but Empire, even with the fight stretching out from beyond the reaches of the Tombstone, they're more than okay to take a fight like that. Trading the Weaver is not exactly the best situation, but hey, they cleaned up regardless, so that is going to mean they're going to get a Roshan. Empire taking good trades every single time. Vayne, I believe, well, that was a really long Fiend's grip, actually, on Enterprise. 
they annihilated him before he could really do anything, and Magnus, once again, uh, unfortunate timing with that reverse polarity. If that reverse polarity was up 10 seconds sooner, that fight would have been extremely different, because everyone from Empire was pumped up extremely heavily right here, and, well, that reverse polarity would have wrecked them. Go Black. <laughs> Limping away from Roshan with 17 HP. Let's see if Clockwork could do this. Miggle, how baller are you? Well, not that baller. He kind of missed. If you aim for the bot lane, that would have been perfect, but he's going to hook shot right in for Funic. The cogs are up. Rise is here as well. The curse, however, does go on to a creep. The LSA as well as Dragon Slave Guna Blade. And Funic does drop. Miggle taking an awful lot of damage from the swarm support, but hey, they got the kill on the darks here. Easy peasy. Use the Laguna Blade. Use the call down. But neither of those ultimates have a huge cooldown attached to them, so AL, they're going to be more than okay with making those trades. The problem with for AL is that they're investing purely into their uh, team fight. That's not a, exactly a problem per se, but Empire have just as much, if not more, team fight. Undying is going to dodge that skewer, do the missile. Uh, but anyway, as, as I was saying, what AL really needs to do, what er, what AL really needs to have right now is a Garrocopter who is farming, who is getting Shadow Blade, Crit, Manta Style, BKB, these items that he could stick in the f in the fights and actually do damage. Because if you let this Weaver go unchecked, he's going to do a lot of damage. He's went for the Demon Edge, so that is going to be a lot of right click even without completing any item. Well, let's see. Take two onto Go Black. Miracle is going to blink forward. Skewer, he's going to get it this time. The missile is going to come as well. Go Black unleashing everything he has. That is just going to end up being a little bit of farm for AL. AL getting another pick off. Scandal wants to get in, actually. He does have an Aegis as well as a Lincoln Sphere, so he's feeling very secure. Silent looking for a Fiend's Grip. Not going to find anyone. Scandal blinking forward once again. Does not even care. Such aggressive play coming out from this Queen of Pain. With the Dying down, Empire cannot actually make anything happen. Miggle was on this top lane the entire time pushing that out, so that's going to be another thing for Empire to take care of. But Queen of Pain with Lincoln Sphere is going to be able to block a whole bunch of spells. The disruption is really the problematic one, because Scandal, once he blinks in, he wants to unleash his payload. Every second that passes where his uh, Scream of Pain is, on, is available to him is a lot of wasted damage. Because the cooldown, only 7 seconds, usually you get 2 or 3 of those uh, in a fight. Oh no, what are you doing? Empire, haven't you learned your lesson? Silent is going to nightmare himself, but it gets instantly taken away by Ryze, and Gyrocopter is there for the final blow. I don't know why Empire insists on going in this area when it's clear that AL are around here. And now AL with the back of that on the back of that Bane kill, they're going to go straight for the tier 1 tower mid. Let's see if they get this right click kill. Go Black is going to move toward the front line. There's a Tombstone and Scandal's going to blink straight for Unicorn. Sonic Wave is going to be perfect with the vacuum actually. Rise is going to drop as well as Mania. Of course after Unicorn did drop and now Miracle going to stampede up to the high ground and try to teleport away. Miggle also teleported as way, away as well. And the tower is going to be denied. I looked for a second that the vacuum was going to miss because it looks like the Sonic Wave, I'm sorry, was going to miss because of the vacuum. But the vacuum actually pulled everyone in right before the Sonic Wave came out. And then when everyone was trying to get away from that vacuum, they all walked straight into it. So I'm going to chalk that one up as intentional good play from Empire, although it seemed to me like a little bit of miscommunication. They were lucky that that worked out like that, quite frankly. Miggle's still alive, still does have his hookshot, wants to use it right now. He's got to be careful. Fiend's Grip is available, and if he hookshots in, that's going to be trouble. Of course, if he hookshots straight in on the Bane Elemental, Battery Assault is pretty much 100% guaranteed that the Bane Elemental is not going to be getting off his Fiend's Grip on him. It's a pretty good anti-Bane tool, but that, once again, is dependent on the... Oh, Scandal's going to find Miracle. They're going to fight for just a little bit. Curse goes on Scandal. Versus Polar did Scandal as well. There goes the Aegis of the Immortal, and a Fiend's Grip onto Miracle. I do not like your chances, Magnetar. Funic actually punches him down. Scandal's going to blink straight in for Rise. There's the disruption being canceled off by the Lincolns here. Rise is taking an awful lot of damage. Blur Bane is going to try to get in there. One more right click will do the job. And Scandal's going to blink in even more aggressively. He doesn't have his age anymore, so he's going to drop to a Laguna Blade. Possibly Scandal's over uh, aggression is, you know, he's going to regret it now because, well, he's dead. But uh, still getting two kills for the price of one. One of, the, one, one of them was the mag as well as the support for the Queen of Pain. The Queen of Pain has a lot of gold attached to her. I don't know if that was actually a streak broken. Yes, it was streak broken. It's probably not worth it for Empire, but it will be worth it if they do manage to take out this tier 2 tower. Missile is going to fly up towards the Weaver, and the Tombstone is down, just occupying the creep wave time. Funic eating those tower shots like a man. They're going to slowly work this tower down. Blair Brain finally coming up from the high, coming down from the high ground. 
Nightmare onto Lina. Swarm does fly out. Miggle on the front lines wants to get caught. He's going to actually push everyone away. Where did the Bane element, the uh, Magnus go? He's going to push Silent back into the cogs, and he's going to drop to the call down. Finally getting a couple points of flat cannon up, and he does have a Yasha. So Guard Copy's going to do some pretty good damage now. Go Black is going to try to make a break for it, but Disruption will cancel that. Go Black should drop right now. The Rocket Barrage will be enough to get Unicorn a double kill, and now Blurry Brain is going to get stunned up. Dragon Slave as well. Lina picking off the Weaver one more time. Empire did take the tower, I believe. Yes, Weaver did kill the tower. But in exchange for three, well, AL definitely getting a couple of good engagements there. Gyrocopter filled it, finally building into some right click damage. The Empower, of course, helping out as well. Level four on that. Actually, Magnus has a ton of levels under his belt. How many levels? Oh, he's actually second place as far as experience per minute. So that uh, mid lane, not too unfriendly for him as far as the uh, levels went. And of course, he, did, he does have 12 assists, which kind of helps as well. That Empower is going to make Unicorn deal an awful lot of damage despite going for the early drums, which is usually a detour you don't see that often in Gyrocopter builds. It's going to work out for him regardless. 24 to 27, still Empire do have pretty substantial lead as far as gold as well as as far as gold and experience are concerned. But now that AL are actually building some damage, their spells are going to remain pretty darn effective. Something that we haven't seen all that much was fun. Oh, Miracle gonna blink straight in for Funic as well as Simon Hookshot as well. Call down. Everyone is going to die to the magic damage. <laughs> Funic, not even enough time to pop off a pipe or a mech. And same thing for Bane Elements. Well, actually went straight for plate mail. So he could protect his like 900 hit points. Uh, not sure if that was the best choice, but hey, what's done is done. With that very good initiation, burning the verse polarity for two kills, very much so worth it if they could get the Stitchy Tower on the back of that as well. Hell, even if they don't get the Stitchy Tower, I'm pretty sure they would be happy with that. Gyrocopter destroying that tower, and now they're all going to fall back. Try to deal with Scandal on this bot lane. Been pushing this rather aggressively. Does have a Void Stone in the Queen of Pain's pocket, so. Probably going to look towards getting a Sheepstick in the near future. Garrocopter, that Sheepstick is going to be the death of him unless he can get a quick BKB, but the rate he's farming, not sure if a BKB is actually possible. He is third as far as the gold per minute is concerned, but... Oh, and he actually is going straight for BKB, so he's just holding the Yasha, getting some uh, cost-effective damage, as well as that movement speed to keep up with people for that Rocket Barrage. Is that a full BKB. Am I going to eat, be eating my words? I think I am. Regeneration. You have to find them, get a nice knife, and start cutting them up because I'm going to eat those words. BKB is going straight up for Unicorn, so he's going to try to fulfill that damaging role that so far AL have not had. Whereas Empire, they do have the Weaver who's having something being flown out to him. It is going to be a MKB. Wouldn't really imagine he would go straight Daedalus. He already has Daedalus. It's called Geminate Attack. Or, kind of Daedalus. daedalus -y. With the MKB, that is going to be a ton of damage. Look at that. Pretty much a double damage on him. And that uh, naked Vit booster will start to build up into something. Possibly a straight up heart, or he will go for a couple of intermediary items as well. Gemma True Sight now on the Weaver and Empire. They want to push. As long as they avoid this reverse polarity from Miracle, then they should be fine. Although, with Mig oh, there's a reverse polarity onto Blurry Brain. Could they kill this Weaver before anything happens? Yes, there he goes. Not a chance for him to cast a single thing. Funic now trapped in the cogs. Gold Black's taking a lot of damage as well. The Fiend's Grip is up. Silence is holding Unicorn in place, and the Unicorn will drop as well as Scandal does come in. Rises does have that poison on him, and he's going to be chased down by Scandal. In the meantime, the. Funic actually did, did get out of the cogs. Miggle, not enough damage to actually kill that Darkseer. He's going to drop, and the Shadow Demon dropped as well. Scandal, not done yet. Oh my god, the aggression coming from this guy is ridiculous. Miracle, you can try to find him 1v1. Scandal's going to find some time to get some bottle charge, but the Shadow Strike should be enough to kill Miracle. Shockwave, this last dying breath is going to kill Scandal, but a team wipe going in favor of Empire. Unfortunately for them, all their major sources of damage are now dead, so they won't be able to kill this tower all that quickly. But it will be free damage. They have another 14 seconds before AL have a hope of getting anything done. And that should be enough time to kill this tower. Do they have any Ring of Basilius auras? Oh, they do have the mech aura. Which is, you know, it's something, I guess. The tower slowly is getting worked down. Lena is up and Garrocopter is going to be up in just a little bit. So the tower should drop. Although there is not going to be much opportunity for Rax's. Are they going to do it? No, the teleportation coming in from the Shadow Demon. He wants to get a drop in. There's the Yule Cyclone from the Lina. LSA is going to land, and Funic now is going to take the Purge, take the Missile, the, LSA, the Laguna Blade as well. Gyrocopter getting a rebuttal kill in this mid lane, and Gyrocopter is out for blood. He's not going to find anyone, however. And AL, well, 
not exactly the best fight for them, but once again, it's because Miracle, you can't expect him to pull Miracles all the time. Those reverse polarities, the previous reverse polarities have been absolutely astounding, and that one, only catching one, not exactly the best situation. They did pick off the Weaver before that fight could even start, and really, that's the problem with Weaver. If you could nail him to the floor, if you could kill him before he could slip away with Shishikuchi, spam that R button, or what is it? Time S? No. Is it T for time lapse? The legacy keys? I don't know if Blair Brain uses legacy keys. I don't even know why I care. But if he's spamming that button, as soon as he gets stunned, he will spam time lapse. That's pretty much how you play Weaver. It's the panic button. And if you kill him before he gets that off, then you are in good shape for that fight. But the problem was that Scandal is also going to do a ton of damage. Queen of Pain, level 19 on her. I mean, Blow Your Brain, yes, he is technically playing the one position, but Scandal, I have to say, is the most deadly hero on the map right now. So much spell damage coming out from this Queen of Pain. Level 3 Sonic Wave, and soon to be a Hex. So Blow Your Brain might not be the most important hero to actually get out of the fight. Possibly it would be worth AL's time to just nuke down Scandal. 1600 HP versus 1100. Uh, I don't know, it's really up to AL, but... Either way, it's going to be a tough choice for them because both of these heroes represent such a large threat. And then, you know, you can't even forget about the Dark Seer as well as Go Black. Go Black just, just needs to drop down a tombstone, pop that flesh golem, hope he doesn't die. And Funic getting a vacuum as well as a wall replica will be absolutely devastating towards AL. The Scarecopter has been stacking stats. That means his illusion is going to be that much more deadly. If you go for damage, the illusions aren't going to be as deadly, but stacking stats, yes, that is going to be what kills you. Four now on the Empire side with the fifth trailing slightly behind. They're going to make for a push onto the tier three mid tower. It is substantially weakened. And now we see the defense from AL. Will it be strong enough to withstand Miracle? Gotta say, man, AL is putting a lot of hope into this Magnetar. If they get that reverse polarity off, if it's effective, they could follow it up with the hook shot or even open up with the hook shot for some clumping then that will be the best engagement that AL could possibly hope for. That could possibly mean uh, counter raxes. Although Empire, they're spreading out. Looks like they learned less, their lesson. Miracle is going to be the charging pig. He's going to get on out of there. Go Black is going to pop off everything he has. Tombstone rather early. Tombstone's going to die. There's the vacuum as well as Wall, trapping everyone from AL for just a little bit. Unicorn taking a lot of damage, even though he does pop to the DKB. The Laguna Blade is going to fly, but Weaver actually time-lapsed that out. The call down as well as the first polarity, finally for Miracle, already killing off the Undying. And now Funic as well as Sonic are on the run. Sonic Wave is going to fly out, but not actually kill anyone. Everyone from AL somehow still alive. Blurry Brain is going to revive from that Aegis, and Mane is going to try to clear off the bugs. There is the disruption onto that Weaver. The, LF, the Yule Scepter once again onto Scandal. And everyone from AL remains alive, but all their ultimates are down. Everyone's a little bit roughed up, and I feel like AL should be able to recover from this. They're going to even chase down one. It's going to be silent. Eagle's going to keep constant uh, tabs on him, and oh, unfortunately, the missile aggroing the creep, so he's going to lose vision for just a little bit. Going to regain it. Is he going to actually chase this down? No, he's not. Nine seconds. A little bit too long for him. AL successfully defend. Another very, very good first polarity from Magnus, following that up with the call down, and then all the AoE damage that comes out from the Gyrocopter DKB as well. But being popped a little bit early, but hey, it doesn't really matter because they burned out the Aegis. They got a whole bunch of kills, and hey, they managed to defend their towers. Actually, did they only get one? I think they only got them dying. But a kill is a kill. They didn't drop any of their own. Ooh, they're going to find sound as well. Miggle can't even retain line of sight. Doesn't even know that they're... Oh, he, now he knows. Where's the hookshot? Where's the hookshot? There's the hookshot. On to silent. Silent. Good night, dear sir. Disruption, a little bit unnecessary, but hey, whatever. Wait, that wasn't disruption. That was nightmare. Garocopter picks up a free kill on Bane. Now Queen of Pain is going to find Miracle, going to hex him immediately. The damage from Blurry Brain is going to be intense. Call down perfectly on Scandal. Could they stun lock this hero? Yes, they can. Queen of Pain drops, and now Cog's going to actually trap AL a little bit more than it's going to help him. There's a reverse polarity. Miracle once again pulling a Miracle, and Go Black is going to fall. Funic is going to be shortly behind him. Unicorn is going to be there with the right clicks. Miggle as well with that assault is going to drop another one of Empire's heroes, and Blurry Brain is even getting worked down by the supports. And AL making things happen. The damage finally coming out from the Gyrocopter and Magnus. Magnus, he has died from that last fight, but he is working some real miracles, living up to his namesake. Those reverse polarities constantly on two, three, four targets. And Empire, they could do a lot of damage, but that kind of depends on them to be able to attack. 
or cast spells or anything. And well, really, Ale not going to give them that chance. Looks like Ale's slowly recovering in this game. We can see the gold kind of being a little bit of roller, co having a little bit of roller coaster action right there. But it is going to push up a little bit towards Ale. The experience advantage should be in Ale's favor. Very close to Ale's favor. That is quickly approaching that zero mark. And Empire, well, they still have this game available to them. They are still very much in the running this game. 30 minutes in, usually <laughs> games aren't this close. But really, once again, all comes down to that team fight. If AL could kill Blair Brain, if they could kill Scandal before you know they actually get their payload off, before they could time lapse, stuff like that, then the fight will go beautifully for AL because now they have someone who could actually sit in the middle of the fight and deal constant damage, as opposed to the Magnus who. Well, you know, he drops reverse polarity and then hopes that his stun that his uh, stun time will get enough time for his teammates to instantly kill people. Uh, they'll have that constant damage output, not reliant on the huge cooldowns. Of course, they still do need that reverse polarity. If that reverse polarity does not land very well, it lights out for AL. And so well, that's really the damage that they needed a little bit ago. Unicorn is now able to deliver that. Level 18 on the Gyrocopter is holding on to a sizable chunk of cash. What is it going to be for him? A Demon Edge? Yes, it is going to be a Demon Edge. Scarecopter building even, even more damage, and Magnus is very, very close to his Refresher Orb. Man, if you thought his Reverse Polarities were good before, he's going to have two of them. Which, hopefully, there's no diminishing return on that. Because I want to see good Reverse Polarities. Everyone likes to see good Reverse Polarities. Except, I guess, if you're on Team Empire. Empire, they just have to make sure that they position themselves correctly. Empire have so far been the ones initiating, which isn't exactly a bad thing. Usually that is exactly what you want to have happen. But uh, usually within the chaos of that fight, they end up clumping at least for a second. Exactly like this. Couple here, couple there. That's a couple of reverse polarity targets, and now three over here for reverse polarity. Small times clumping is going to give Miracle ample opportunity to get in. They are all smoked in. They're going to blink straight in. Reverse polarity only in Scandal. Hookshot onto Silent. There goes the Tombstone. But another reverse polarity is going to be enough. Killing off Go Black. No, Go Black is barely surviving with that Blade Mail. He's going to finally drop. And the Yule Scepter is going to save Mania. He's going to try to work down Scandal. Scandal with two more right clicks is going to get picked off by Mania. Scandal somehow surviving. I'm sorry, that was Silent. And Lena is going to drop. Dropping not only her life, but also that gem. But AL trading two reverse polarities for two kills onto the supports. Well, Empire, they... What the hell? Okay, that was a wall. That was the straightest wall camera I've ever saw. I'm like, what is Queen of Pain spreading out of her mouth? That is some sick laser. But Ale defend once again, jumping Empire a lot uh, more prematurely than Empire really expected. And that reverse polarity, number one miss, but number two got another one. So I guess there is the opposite of diminishing returns. Get one reverse polarity on the Queen of Pain, two reverse polarities, one on Queen of Pain, one on to the Undying as well. Empire and AL. See, if you're a new team, you can't do stuff like this. Your team fights will not be as picture perfect with Miggle jumping right in on the Bane Elemental, canceling out any opportunity for Fiend's Grip because of that battery assault and stick on that Bane Elemental. No battery assault for him. And then of course the Magnus going for another target. This is the uh, this is the old team that I love. The old SK slash Quantic. And now picked up by AL, very prominent. Oh who did that? Scandal, you're killing your courier, man. So yeah, I wish I hope these guys can keep playing at this form because they're looking pretty good. A little bit of a rough start. But if they keep playing like this, they could take this game away from Empire. And taking a game from Empire is not exactly an easy feat. They are an absolute juggernaut of a team, as I kept on saying in the draft, but Magnus with one verse polarity up. Could he make something happen here? Weaver is unfortunately missing. There's the Blink Skewer onto Silent. He's going to take a ton of damage. Nightmare is going to save him at least for a moment, but it's not going to be enough. Scandal he did get caught, and he is going to possibly drop. No Blink available to him. Go Black with the Blade Mail. Not going to be enough either. Tombstone gets cleaned up, and with three down from Empire, AL are going to push straight in. Are there any buybacks? That is the question. Buyback is up on the Queen of Pain. Should be up on the Bane as well. Oh, yeah, just barely. One gold, and Undying, unfortunately for him, does not have buyback. Hookshot is still up in reverse polarity. Will be up in 15 seconds if Magnus should if should Magnus choose to use that refresher orb. So right now, AL pushing down the mid lane, want to bait out as many buybacks as they can. Probably Bane is not going to spend his time, but Tower's gonna start to take some damage. Their fortification is going to pop off. 
that Empower onto Garo Cop. You can see him doing plus 183. There's the blame for it, as well as a hook shot. A little miscommunication, but finally he's going to get a beautiful vacuum wall plus a sonic wave. Everyone from Ale is going to take a ton of damage, possibly for Blow Your Brain to clean up. He's going to go straight for Miggle, the tankiest target. Not sure if that's correct. Lena is going to be one to drop. And Funic did drop, but the damage that came out of that combo combined with the Queen of Pain was absolutely intense. They did pick off the clockwork in the meantime. Everyone else from AL trying to get out of their, the bugs, making things a little bit troublesome. The Blink Dagger will be available to Miracle Blink Away. Gems on the floor randomly. Shadow Demon is going to get a disruption onto the Weaver, but they gotta watch out for Scandal, who's gonna set a cutoff path. Blair Brain is out of mana, unfortunately for him. Rise is going to be the one dropping Scandal. Gonna blink straight in for a scream. Not even gonna need to do any more right clicks. Blair Brain with the Gemini attack is going to get that kill, and now he does have a heart on the way. So the Funic down. Uh, they did get three, so it's one trade finally going the way of Empire. A beautiful, beautiful combo from him. Wall, vacuum into a sonic wave. Everyone from AL just disintegrated. Uh, not exactly 100 to 0, but uh, 100 to like 10%. That cleanup was very, very easy for Weaver. That's exactly what Weaver likes to do. And now the Rax is on AL side. After that intense push, they're, uh, they're going to get a little bit of pressure themselves. And this time, this time they actually, the Empire that is, they have the right click damage. The BKB, uh, MKB, I'm sorry, is up on Weaver. Scandal's here as well, level 22, so he has a lot of base damage coming out from there. And the Midraxes are going to be claimed by Team Empire. AL, unfortunately, are unable to do anything. The Reverse Polarity is going to be thrown onto Goldblack. He's going to skewer Goldblack back into the clutches of the Lina. Nuke him down. Unicorn going to pop off his BKB. Only five seconds, so it's not exactly a huge investment. Missile is going to fly onto that Bane Elemental Mania. Is what the no miracle? Why miracle? Why? Oh God! Okay, Miggle is going to drop to blow your brain. It looks like Skewer is not going to be enough to save anyone. Now there's another vacuum, another wall. No Sonic Wave this time, but Scandal is still going to do more than enough damage. Miracle is going to drop. Mania is going to follow, and now Unicorn is the only one to try to escape from that. Rise is alive as well, but uh, there's a lot of angry Empire heroes on the other end. They're going to go straight in towards the mid lane. Where are they going to go? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? It's going to be top, but the illusion still in tow. Funic is going to make those illusions tank, and this Gyrocopter, as I said before, is going to do some sizable damage. You can see the damage coming onto this tier 3 tower. Shadow Poison's flying, missiles flying as well, but with two dead, AL simply cannot do this. They need their secondary initiation from the clockwork. And Blair Brain is having the time of his life. Disruption onto him, as well as the curse, but is it going to be enough? Blair Brain it does have a hard trask. There's a Sonic Wave, as well as Fiend's Grip onto Unicorn. He is down. Blair Brain is going to time lapse out. Not going to be successful. I don't know what happened there. Got picked off by the Purge, I suppose, but it looks like his time lapse was in time. Whatever. Scandal is going to dive right in onto Rise. He is going to drop. Missile is going to fly in for Scandal. Call down. Going to force Funic out of the fight, and Sound should drop to Unicorn. So AL do defend the set of their top racks, but they lose the melee racks, and that's the real important thing. Empire with one decisive push, and then another one straight after, picking off one and a half sets of racks. And AL, it looked like they were they were due for a comeback. I kind of made my bias a little bit. I mean, this is the comeback. This was it until right here. This right here was AL's undoing. That's not to say that they could have been playing better from the start, but that fight really was the final nail in the coffin. Now Empire, Blair Brain is extremely tanky. He should have lived that. He time-lapsed, right? I don't know. It looked like he time-lapsed. But Weaver is a huge damage dealer. Going for a Yasha, probably going to turn that into a Manta style. And Queen of Pain even transitioning into a semi-DPS role as well. AL, this game is slowly slipping away from them. Could we count on a couple more reverse polarities? Or is Magnus just going to make another screw up? That was also another thing that didn't quite go their way. Go Black is going to pop everything he has simply because of this illusion from Magnus. This is going to fly towards the Undying, but the Roshan is slowly getting worked down. If AL want to fight and prevent this Roshan, they gotta go right now. The call down is there. It's going to land onto Blow Your Brain as well. Scandal Miracle is going to go right in for one reverse player. Doesn't have a second one, but it doesn't matter. Scandal Blow Your Brain already dead. Funic in the air, and he's going to take the Laguna Blade as well. Miggle trying to slow him down with that assault as as Miracle just uh, skewers right over the edge. Reverse polarity. Ooh, canceled that time. Well done, Magnus. But they did deny that Roshan. Did they pick up the, Rosh the Aegis? Where is the Aegis? Aegis. What the hell? Where's the Aegis? Magnus picked up the Aegis. Yes, there it is. I already clicked on him. And Cheese onto the Lina. So AL, this game isn't over. There's, yes, they're behind. They lost one and a half sets of Raxes, but the two main 
damage dealers empire are down and out the wall vacuum combo is still available however as well as fiend's grip and there is one verse polarity up from the sent from the radiant squad but unfortunately for them they do not have the creep wave the creep wave was pushed all the way down to their base and well, that's going to be one opportunity that they're not going to be able to capitalize on they oh there's a verse polarity forget what i ever said about that miracle is going to pull them both into the clutches of Miggle mania can drop down his laguna blade onto bunnik but there's the wall as well as the vacuum bunnik is going to drop regardless silent trapped in the trees do they know he's there yes they definitely know he's there the two stacks of shadow poison silent i don't think he could actually escape another hook shot in uh, gonna need to Laguna Blade. Uh, yeah, I'll save them out of there. There you go. All five dead from Empire, but only for a little bit of time. The illusion is being a little bit problematic. You can't make any more of those guys. Blurred Brain is the only one up. This could be a big chance for AL to take some counter axes. Cheese is up on the clockwork, and the Aegis of the Immortal is still up on Magnus, but he does not have any more reverse polarities. There's the Empower onto the Gyrocopter. They want to take this tower down. They need to take Raxes, but Weaver, as well as Queen of Pain, up, are up. Is that going to be enough to actually defend this? It's going to be very, very close. Miggle is going to start working down these melee racks. He's going to hookshot straight into Blur Your Brain. He needs a time lapse right now. There's a time lapse, and Queen of Pain blinks right in. Going to try to go for Unicorn, but the damage just simply isn't there. Laguna Blade does fly up on the scandal. It's going to force the fall back. Fortification slowing them down one more time. In the meantime, the top lane range racks are going down for AL. They're going to take the mid lane, though. And are they going to keep pushing this? Are they going to fall back? Scandal going to jump right in, do a little more damage to Unicorn. And with them dying, teleporting in, AL, they're going to fall back. They took the melee racks, which isn't exactly going to equalize the lane, especially, you know, since their top racks were taken in exchange. But hey, they got a little bit of something. It's going to be a little bit of pressure that they don't have to worry about. And AL have shown that they're not quite out of this. They are still not quite out of this just yet. They get the reverse polarities. They get two of them. They did get that very successful Roshan Jack. They keep that up. They still take this game 49-42. to 42, Such a very even game. And you can see the experience earned skyrocketing, in fact, into AL's favor with the gold earned slowly crawling back. The only problem for AL is that they are one and two Raxes down now. And Empire, they're all smoked up, heading towards that bot lane. This is another chance for Magnus to prove that he is an amazing player. Although he doesn't exactly have to prove anything to me. That I have seen those reverse polarities with my own eyes, and now you have too. If he can make another one happen for another Miracle Defense, this could be AL taking the game. But if not, Empire. They're just going to plow right on through if the rest polarities don't land. Aegis, does he have time on the Aegis? Yes, he has all the time in the world for the Aegis. But then again, Empire, they have all the time in the world as well. They can just stick right over here, constantly kill off this creep wave, and wait for the top lane to push in, wait for the bot lane to wait for the top lane, as well as mid lane to push in. It's really going to be up to AL to make something happen. They're going to be constantly sending out those rockets, waiting for Empire to make a mistake, or just hookshot straight in and get a catch Silent as well as Golak. Go Black is going to pop everything he has. There's Polarity is going to land onto Silent as well as Golak. Second verse Polarity is going to kill the two supports this time. Where's the Queen of Pain? Where's the Weaver? Blow your brain. Did get a couple of copies made from him. Rise is going to drop off everything before he goes down. Scandal going to get screwed way back. Miracle is going to eliminate him from the fight. Blur brain is going to try to run away. He is going to be successful in doing so, but Scandal going to blink straight in for the Gyrocopter. Is going to pick him up as well. Scandal is going to take a couple of stuns into those cogs. He's going to drop the top lane, mid lane. Is getting pushed in once again. But AL managed to defend Gyrocopter buying back into this game to clear off those lanes. Another vacuum onto Rise as well as Miracle. It might be enough to kill Rise. Yes, it will be enough. Blink forward by Miracle, but Funnick with that surge is a little bit too quick. And no, it's not quick enough. Miggle with another hookshot dead on sight. Sniper hookshot is going to pick off Funnick. In the meantime, the mid lane, it is going to be Unicorn trying to deal with Blow Your Brain who has bought back and has... Did he actually die? Actually, I don't know if he died. But he is in the mid lane regardless. And Unicorn is going to try to defend these constant waves of super creeps. And AL, they have to make something happen right now. But the problem for them is that they could go straight for the mid. But then the top lane is going to be demolished from Blur Your Brain. They could go for some of the side lanes. But the tier 2s are still up. So AL, they don't really have that many options. They need a more decisive team fight. And by decisive team fight, I mean Weaver has to die. Queen of Pain has to die, Darkseer has to die, and they all have to have no buybacks. That's going to be, oh no, huge miscommunication. The stuns are not going to land. LSA is going to miss as well. Laguna Blade, oh, that was rough to watch. Blur Brain is going to slip away just barely. Magnus still holding on to his Agency of the Immortal as well. But, you know, the, ro the Hookshot thought he was coming in. The Yule Scepter followed by the Light Strike Away. Light Strike Array just barely missed. And that should have been a dead weaver, but uh, AL, 
a little bit of miscommunication now pushing the 50 minute mark or a little bit pushing the 50 minute mark it's gonna be a little bit of a question of endurance at this point AL are they gonna straight push the mid lane that takes balls of steel no they're going to go straight into the jungle they do have a ward set up so they're going to find someone or at least they know where everyone is Bane, Emel Bane Elemental has a blink dagger hover so it's gonna be really hard to catch him out unless Miggle with his sniper hook shot is going to make something happen really all these ultimates from AL have been pretty darn good Oh, they see Go Black. There he goes. Hook shot straight in. Cogs are up as well as that battery assault. And Unicorn is going to go straight in. There's the Splink Skewer, and Silent's going to be the next one to fall. Silent doesn't have any real shot right now. He should be die. Yeah, there he goes. So those are two down. Free kills from Empire. No, uh, from onto AL. Another hook shot flying out from Clockwork. Firing those as often as he can. Once again, what could they do off this? They need a more decisive fight. They need to kill off the real problematic heroes. They got the two heroes that, quite frankly, they could push against if they were still alive. Undying and Bane Elemental can't do enough to stop a push from AL if the Weaver, Queen of Pain, and Darkseer are dead. So these two racks is down. Really, really a huge thorn in AL side. Of Even using some hook shots to get to the creeps. Why not? Burn some mana. You have a lot of it. So picking off the two supports is all well and good. They need something more. And Magnus, at least for AL, did not use his first polarity or his refresh orb. So he has two of them up. If he catches Queen of Pain and Weaver just like he did back here in this Roshan fight, that could be game for AL. Empire, I feel they're slowly slipping. Um, they're they're still in the lead. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like they're making just a couple more mistakes. It's kind of uncharacteristic of Empire who just have such pristine play. AL, they're just finding opportunities to catch him off guard, and I gotta say, part of that or most of that even, is due to AL's warding. Look at these wards in, all up in their jungle. And Empire, I'm pretty sure they're aware of these wards' existence by now, but, you know, it doesn't really matter because Clockwork is getting so much opportunity, so many opportunities to initiate those fights with, with the hookshot because of the sentry wards. So AL doing good to keep their vision up, even though there was a gem being passed around. Where is the gem, actually? Gem, where are you? Dead? It's dead. No, no, it's on clockwork, so there you go. AL do have the map control despite being two sets of Raxes down. That is very peculiar. And uh, you know what else is pretty pretty cool? Pretty peculiar? You know what this is. AL, they're going to go big or go home. I do like this from them. They kind of need to make something happen. Miggle is going to lead the charge. He's the only one not smoked, but he does not hit the cook shot. Did he cast that? It sounded like he did. Yes, he did. But he's going to have that in five seconds. And well, there's another target right down here. Scandal's got to watch himself. Oh, the smoke is going to be revealed. Do they know the Queen of Pain is there? They're going to find someone blink forward from Miracle. But Queen of Pain is right into the jungle. Hookshot is going to miss once again. Blinking straight into the trees. Miracle is not going to find her. And Queen of Pain will survive. And everyone from AL got to teleport back once again. Uh, this game sits at the edge of a knife. One single wrong movement and it could fall. I know, I've kind of butchered that quote a little bit. But if you get that, despite the butchering, then props to you. You are pretty cool. Kuna Blade's up, but really, it's not about these items. I guess Skyrocopter, it will be about his items. But really, the name of the game is, Can these ultimates land from Magnus? And if they do, can he get a second one? And if they do, can the Darkseer pull out his team with Vacuum? Could he make something happen? Will the Sonic Wave land? Ultimates pl and team placement is really going to be what it's all about. And so far, AL have been pretty good about that, but Empire have been pretty good about that too. Don't want to sound too biased now. Oh dear, they're going to just barely miss the Queen of Pain. Hookshot once again missing. But the ultimate placement is going to be the name of the game, and oh, here we go. We have the Doctor. The Doctor is in Gowcopter with plus 432 with lifesteal. Oh man. Wait, 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 that's not even with Empower. Oh, yes, and a double damage. Please, please, Unicorn. Yes. Plus five. Oh, that was kind of disappointing. 584. It doubles your uh, base, not your, uh, you know, plus damage. So the plus 300 wasn't actually doubled. But he still doesn't have Empower. Turn on Empower, man. I want to see it. I do. Oh, but they know that Roshan is happening right now. It's dropping extremely low. Where is the hookshot from Miggle? He has to go right now. Hookshot missed once again. 
Funnick is going to get disrupted as well as Soul Catcher. Miracle going to go straight in, but he's going to take a whole bunch of spells. Unicorn is going to do so much damage to Queen of Pain, already taking her out of the fight. Blurry Brain is going to have the Aegis drops from him. In the meantime, Funnick trapped in the cogs. He is actually pretty safe from there, actually. Silent is going to fight both Miggle as well as Rise, but Unicorn just standing his ground. Blurry Brain is going to find Miracle. And Miracle should make it out of there. Yes, he is going to blink out of there, but the Divine Rapier from Gyrocopter drawing out the buyback from the Queen of Pain. I believe Weaver... No, Weaver actually did not buy back. But now, AL, this could be their shot. They still need to take another fight, so they did get halfway through there. But they also do have the Refresher Orb, so they do have half of their team fight left. The call down is going to be up right now, in fact. And the Cheese is up on the Magnetor. No, where did the Cheese go? Cheese actually got eaten, I believe. No, Cheese is on the Weaver. There we go. Cheese is on the Weaver, but uh, that won't exactly help him if he gets annihilated from a couple of reverse polarities. Here we go. AL, they're going to breach the high ground. They're just going to go straight for the GG. In the meantime, Scandal, he's pressuring down the bot lane. So those are Raxes that he's has to that AL have to worry about in just a little bit. But AL, they're setting up for a backstab right now. Silent is probably going to lead the charge, but Unicorn with the Divine Rapier is leading the charge on the other end. Going to take down one tier 4 tower, but Goldblast is going to initiate it immediately annihilated by the Laguna Blade. Silent is going to go right in for the Nightmare. But Miracle actually misses one of those skewers, cycloning Silent up into the air. Reverse polarity is going to land on Silent as well as Boyer Brain. This could be it. Call down is going to come down. And Unicorn is going to sit right in the middle of everything with his rocket barrage, with his black cannon, and destroy the rest of Empire's heroes. The throne is now vulnerable. Scandal is the only one available. No, Boyer Brain is still alive. He's going to time lapse out. How does he still have time lapse? Unicorn is still doing the damage though. He's life stealing so much. Scandal is going to drop. Scandal is down. He cannot come back into this fight. Unicorn, even with Enfeeble, he's going to sit right in the middle. No, he actually drops down Divine Rapier on the floor, Divine Rapier on the floor, Funnick is unable, unable to pick that up, and the Ancient will stay up for now, Unicorn has bought back and he is going to defend his own base, Miracle can try to skewer himself through, Rise gonna get Fiend's Grip though, Blurry Brain is still somehow alive, and Miggle is going to be the last one to drop on the AL side, in the meantime the top lane mid and the top lane got pushed in from AL, and the bot lane as well, but the Dyer's Ancient taking a whole heavy hit but so did the radiance ancient still the game is dead even but now the where is the where is it oh no oh no al there's a divine rapier on the weaver and he has a heart he doesn't have buyback he does have buyback what are you kidding how is this guy still alive what is this shenanigan I don't know how Blow Your Brain... I said before, Blow Your Brain is an amazing carry player. I don't know how he stayed alive through all of that. I could have sworn he died like three times. But he does have buyback. It's going to not exactly help him because he has a freaking Divine Rapier. But uh, we do have one Reverse Polarity up, so they do have an opportunity. Garrocopter's damage did get severely cut. But the game still is not over. This might be the last fight, although Empire... Do they want to take a 3v3? They do have a Divine Rapier on their end, but then again, there's a hook shot, there is a Reverse Polarity, and a ton of damage still coming out from this Gyrocopter. So they're just going to fall back just a little bit, and this game continues. What a close game. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't hear about this. Usually when there's a really good game, people are like, oh my god, this game is so amazing. But I didn't hear anything about this. I thought this was just going to be like another average stomp fest or something like that. In. Boy, was I wrong. I do like this pick from Clockwork. If he had this item a long time ago, things would have been so much different. He's going to go straight for that Heaven's Halberd. Because that Weaver doesn't have a BKB, and he could time-lapse it out, but still, that's a heavy use of time-lapse just to get rid of one debuff. Excuse me while I drink some water. Players here. Ugh. Here we go. Is this a smoke? No, yes, it is a smoke. They're going to go straight in. They want this... Thrown dead. Fortification is available, however. And AL, they're all on the bottom lane. Blur Brain is there. Could he make something happen? He's got to watch out for the initiation. No, he's going to take the Raxes in the meantime. AL getting split in either direction. There's a reverse polarity number one onto Goldback as well as Funny, but he instantly gets Fiend's Grip, and Miracle is going to drop instantly by his back. However, uses their refresh orb. He's going to blink straight in for round two, but the Ancient is slowly getting brought down. Call down, going to get called down onto Funny. He's going to be the first one to drop Fun Goldback as well is going to drop. Where's the Divine Rapier? It's still live. Silence going to blink straight for the throne. The throne is going to get fortified for a couple of seconds. Will it be enough? Scandal with the right clicks. Is the reverse polarity? No, it's not going to be in time. And Empire, take the game. Oh my... Jesus. Oh, Empire, why are you doing this to me? 
that game, man. That game. 57 minutes. Amazing game. Holy crap. Tell your friends. Tell your grandmother. Tell your grandmother. Tell her friends. Because this game needs to be seen. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. This has been game number one in the best of three between Absolute Legends and Empire from the Premier League Season 4. If you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, all that stuff. If you didn't, then please let me know what I can do better in the future. Oh, jeez. Slow down my heart. I cannot take this. If all the games in this tournament are like this, I might seriously like suffer some sort of medical condition. Like, it's not even funny. Oh, jeez. That game, man. Alright, so, on to game two. Thanks for watching, guys. GG.